Today, I'm gonna to take you through the Saddlebrook Resorts Walking Village and show you what it's like to be a condo owner. Come on, let's go. I'm Florida real estate broker, Allison Newland and broker owner of Platinum Properties of Florida. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Saddlebrook Resort has been a staple of East Pasco County in Wesley Chapel, Florida since the early 80s. It was state of the art at the time when it opened and it's home to so many amenities, including two 18 hole Arnold Palmer design golf courses, 45 tennis courts. There are pickleball courts. There's a super pool. There's a serenity pool. There's a fitness center and there's a couple of different dining options. The resort has just under 500 condo hotel suites. And what that means is that they are individually owned. Some are owned by the resort and some are owned by people like you and me. And that's why I brought you out here today because I wanted to show you what a two bedroom, two bath condo looks like and what kind of amenities you get if you own one. Condo hotels at the Saddlebrook Resort in Wesley Chapel, Florida come fully furnished. You can use your condo hotel 45 days out of the year and it doesn't have to be consecutive days. When you're not using your condo hotel, it is placed in the rental pool and managed by the resort. As a condo hotel owner, you will get 45 days a year that you can personally stay in the unit. That's 45 days out of the year that don't have to be consecutive days. And then the rest of the time, the unit is put into a rental pool and managed by the resort. On a quarterly basis, 45% of the bookings profit will be dispersed to the rental pool owners of like condo hotels. Today is a gorgeous day out at Saddlebrook Resort. I'm gonna take you through a couple of really special spots. One of my favorite places is the super pool area. Let's go see it. I love it to show you that they have so much new furniture out here by the pool it's amazing I was just out here one week ago and it's totally different there are tons and tons of new lounge chairs rockers look I'm in a rocker but it's like a cool rocker it's like a poolside rocker and behind me are the beautiful sky the palm trees can you imagine if you owned a condo here that you could visit 45 days out of the year and the weather looked like this 
perfect. Time to go check out the Serenity Pool. The Serenity Pool, I don't know that it's adult only, but it's definitely a more quiet pool. And let's go check it out. This would have been where the sports bar was located right there and the steakhouse right there. Serenity Pool right now. Oh, and no one under 18 years of age is allowed in the Serenity Pool. Hallelujah. That's really nice. So I like to call this the adult pool. Very nice. Oh, and look at all these. We've got some new chairs here too. This is all, these are all new. New, 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 new. Beautiful. If you're familiar with Saddlebrook, then you're definitely familiar with Dempsey Steakhouse. Sadly, it's no longer here, but they are, I mean, this is where it, this is where it was, right here. This was Dempsey Steakhouse, and it was home to many a good steak dinners and brunches. I have heard that there are plans to repurpose this entire space as a condo owners or club member space. So again, another improvement on the way. That's the fitness center and the golf shop. Behind the golf shop and the fitness center is where you will find the pickleball courts and the serenity pool. Now I also want to mention that they call this particular area of Saddlebrook Resort the walking village and it's because you don't bring a car here you park your car at the valet or you give it to the valet and then from there you can walk everywhere that i'm showing you you can walk to the super pool you can walk to your condo you can walk to the pickleball you'll see some golf carts some the golf carts behind me those ones are actually for golfers and then there are other golf carts you cannot drive the golf carts into the actual clusters of condos they get disabled if you try to drive into that space so just wanted you to know it's a walking village you will definitely get your steps in uh, if you're wearing um, a device like I am okay so there are people playing pickleball today so I see uh, one two three four five six courts and these are pretty new they love it people love the pickleball that's the back side of the fitness center and the serenity pool. So let's say you live up north and it's snowing, snowing in January and February, and you want to get out of that cold. You want to come down to Florida, you love to play golf, you love to play tennis, you just want to get some sun. You could own a condo hotel for under $100,000, you have to buy a club membership, but then you just pay your regular condo fees as you would if you owned uh, another condo somewhere else. And then you pay your quarterly fees as you would as a club member. 
Now, I'm not going to quote those prices because those are subject to change. Um, right now, this is a very interesting time here at Saddlebrook Resort. As I mentioned before, this opened in the 80s, and now it's time for some improvements, some updating. And the good news is that last year, last summer, a firm named Mast Capital purchased the resort, and they are committed to making capital investments into the resort to update and improve it. And I've already seen some of those improvements around here, even just in one week. I know that sounds silly, but the pool chairs uh, along the pool deck of the super pool were getting a little sad. Well, they added brand new pool chairs um, in the last week. So there are improvements everywhere, but that's just, that's just a small minor improvement, obviously. MassCap is not in the business of buying losers, right? They're gonna buy a winner and they're gonna improve it. And I believe that with their commitment, we will see the Saddlebrook Resort be improved to beyond its original grandeur. Something that's also important to know as a potential condo hotel owner here is that Troon, T-R-O-O-N, has signed on to manage the resort and they will oversee the golf course operations as well as membership sales and marketing so let's say you get here and your actual condo is not ready yet i know i mean we would hope that it is but maybe you had an early flight or you got here early and it's just not ready because it had been previously rented out before you got here and it's and it still needed to be cleaned well you just check in over at the valet and then you go into the lobby and you check in as you would you find out oh gosh it's not ready yet but that's okay no worries um, you can go hang out by the pool, but what if you didn't want to hang out by the pool? I don't know why you wouldn't want to do that, but maybe that's not your thing. So what you can do is you can come over to the condo slash members office. Just have some pleasant music playing, place to sit. You can get some water, some snacks. You can just, like the sign says, you can just relax for a little bit. I have been coming to this resort on and off for many, many years, uh, as long as I can remember since I came up to attend St. Leo College at the time, it's now St. Leo University, and I have attended reunions, weddings, long weekends. Um, I don't play golf, so I never did any kind of golf event here, but I've also attended uh, different kind of presentations that they would have in their 100,000 square foot uh, meeting and event space and that's where they had many of their wedding functions as well so I am familiar with this resort as some place that I would go to have an enjoyable time and in your condo hotel suite there is an owner's closet where you can store away some things for your own personal private use when you come so let's say you need to bring sunscreen with you well and if you're flying to come here then you don't want to carry that on the plane you could just buy it when you got here and store it in your owner's closet for example now i want to mention that saddlebrook resort is about um it's about 35 miles to tampa international airport um, i don't like to give an exact time of how long that takes because of course that depends on traffic but it's not a tough drive by any means also you can get to the beautiful gulf coast beaches within about i would say an hour to an hour and a half depending on what time of day you go um, and you know what the season is and it is located very close to lots of different shopping and restaurant options that wasn't always the case but wesley chapel is so big now it's really growing but what's nice about saddlebrook is that you are so insulated we have the nature here we're surrounded by palm trees and cypress trees and the landscaping is beautiful. I'll tell you, they're not skimping on the landscaping. It is as beautiful as ever. And uh, once we start to get some of our summer rains, it's gonna even be more beautiful and lush and green. So if you are a person who likes to go and you stay and play golf things with your buddies, for example, you could be an owner of a condo hotel, a two bedroom, two bath condo hotel, and it actually sleeps six, but I don't know. So you might not want to have all your buddies stay in that one. They could rent a separate space, but you guys could come and hang out a couple different weekends a year. If you travel for business into the Tampa area, you could always have 
the Saddlebrook area for you to come and relax, decompress after your business, whatever it is you need to do. If you live locally, um, like when I say locally, I mean in the state of Florida, you could come over once a month for a long weekend. Those are all things that you could do and you could, oh, and if you were, the other thing I thought of was if you were thinking about moving to the greater Tampa area and you just weren't sure and you read a lot about Wesley Chapel, but there are so many neighborhoods going up here that it's hard to know what neighborhood is right. So you could buy into a condo hotel at Saddlebrook Resort and you could stay at the condo while you are searching, investigating, you know, if you are coming from a long distance, just come in, fly in, drive, get a rental car, come on in and stay here while you're house hunting and to see what area around the Saddlebrook Resort is the best for you. Now, you might want to even live within the gates of Saddlebrook because besides the resort itself, there's an entire other like single family home area of homes that are not cookie cutter homes, uh, many different varieties of homes and people have lived here a long time so it might be time for some turnover in terms of maybe people are downsizing or whatever but there are options within the gates of Saddlebrook that aren't condos that are single-family homes and that's a whole nother video for more information about Wesley Chapel watch this video oh he's got a stick oh my gosh the bird's got a stick <laughs>